Warning! This video contains strong, repulsive language not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Maraming salamat sa nag-like, nag-share at syempre sa mga nanood ng aming video. Sana po ay patuloy po kayo na, na maging taga-subaybay at hindi po kayo manawa sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat po muli. Ngayon, punta po tayo sa mga expert. Kunwari na porke nakapanood lamang ng mga CSI series or any crime drama, ay automatic ng experts ang tingin sa sarili na pwede na agad magbigay ng isang professional opinion na para bang mga doktor. Ito ay walang iba kundi si Cynthia Patag na matagal ng napatag ang utak dahil sa kagamit ng droga. Somewhere along the way ay isama na natin din dito si Jim Paredes. Masyado kasi kayong naghahanap ng butas sa Pangulo kaya ano man ang mabasa ninyo, lalo na sa tingin nyo ay pangit, ay agad kayo nagpo-post. Tapos pag kayong binanatan sa social media, iyak kayo at sisigaw na cyberbullying. Tama ba ako, Agot Isidro? So pathetic. Ano nga bang psychopath? Alam ba nila Agot Isidro, Cynthia Patag, at Jim Paredes ibig sabihin nito? Panoorin natin ang isang educational clip mula sa site go Ilalagay ko rin po ang link para mas mapanood niyo ang kabuuan ng video. person from a movie, bloodthirstily running around, ready to kill you on sight. Have you ever wondered if any of your friends could actually be a psychopath? Or is Hollywood's definition of a psychopath more appealing? Contrary to what many people think, not every psychopath is a killer or a criminal. They have a personality disorder known as psychopathic personality, which falls under the antisocial personality disorder mm -hmm. category in the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. This disorder is characterized by lack of empathy, lack of remorse, and antisocial behavior. Hollywood loves to portray psychopathy as madness to ensure a box office hit, but in everyday life, that's not necessarily true. When it comes to the likelihood of having a psychopath in your life, the odds are not in your favor. According to Dr. Paul Bobiak, one in every 100 people is likely to have psychopathic traits, and the probability is even higher as you go up in the office mm -hmm. food chain, where you'll find one among every 25 managers and executives. The real reasons behind psychopathy are usually narrowed down to genetic factors. Yes, many criminals are psychopaths, but the majority of psychopaths are not involved in criminal acts at all. Here are 10 key traits of psychopaths. 1. Lack of empathy. A psychopath simply cannot feel what everyone else feels. They understand your feelings, but they don't feel them. Even if you're crying your heart out over the death of a loved one, they'll show compassion only to please you, not out of true emotional empathy. 2. Manipulativeness. Always knowing the right strings to pull and the right buttons to push, Psychopaths use deception to cheat others into thinking, believing, or acting in certain ways. They only focus on personal gains with no concern whatsoever for how others feel. 3. Irresponsibility Impulsive behavior and irresponsibility is their lifestyle. A psychopath would never admit to their mistakes. In fact, they turn the tables against whoever accuses them of anything so that the accuser would think again and even feel guilty about their complaints. 4. Narcissism Psychopaths usually view themselves as smarter, more powerful, and of more worth than everyone else. They have an extravagant, almost theatrical self-perception, thinking that the world revolves around just themselves. 5. Pathological lie Psychopaths tend to lie, 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 and lie even more. Their lives are spider webs of lies. This ranges from moderate levels to high levels of lying. 6. Superficial charm. Smooth, charming, 
and attractive, psychopaths aren't afraid to do or say anything they like. That absence of embarrassment attracts others, as it can be misperceived as high self-confidence. The Hawkeye glares are mistaken for sexual magnetism by women. 7. Lack of Remorse Psychopaths don't feel guilty for the suffering and pain they inflict on others, or for their actions in general. 8. Proneness to Boredom Forever bored, psychopaths have an exaggerated need for adrenaline overdose, so they're always looking for excitement and thrill. 9. Bullying Psychopaths are usually abusive towards those that are not of much benefit to them. This could be subordinates, elderly people, children, or in most cases, animals. They like to exercise their power over other fragile beings through bullying, and they may shoot hurtful words at any time without warning. 10. Sucker for power. They have an excessive need to exercise power and control over others. In other words, they are control freaks. Everything must go the way they want it to. Ngayon, based on what you have watched, sino sa dalawang pangulong psychopath? Si Abnoy Noy ay kailanman hindi nakita ng remorse, lalo nung namatay ang mga fallen SAF-44. Natatanda niyo pa ba na si Abnoy langan laging nakangiti sa litrato? Masayang-masaya pa nung dumalo sa inauguration at Mitsubishi at hindi raw nakaschedule ang, pasalub, ang pagsalubong niya sa Fallen 44. Imposible namang hindi niya malaman yun dahil siya ang pangulo at kailangan maihatid sa kanya ang balita. ASAP Sa mga sinasabi ng channel ng site to go mas tanin niyo kung sino sa dalawang pangulo ang psychopath. Sino ang walang remorse na tila ba'y natutuwa pa habang nakikipag-usap sa mga kaanak ng mga namatay na SAF-44? Sa buong termino ng Abnoynoy Idiot Aquino, laging siyang nakangiti kahit na hindi naman dapat. Isa pa, bakit naging interesado si Abnoy sa pagkamatay ni Espinosa samantalang nung namatay ang mga SAF, mas inuna pa ang abnormal idiot ang inauguration ng Mitsubishi dahil wala raw ito sa schedule niya. Ang sabi ni Jim Paredes, stoic lang daw si Abnoy. Panoorin ninyo po ang video namin ng pamagat ay English 101. Kamusta nga pala ang green card mo sa US, Jim Paredes? Kamusta din Australia? Balita ko na ubos ang araw na English kaya ka narito ngayon sa Pilipinas. Saka speaking of remorse, hindi nga kayo nagsisi ng ginamitin nyo si Noli Asensio, hindi ba? Gumawa kayo ni Paredes ng post na inexploit ninyo ang pagkamatay ng tao. Kayo ang nagtutwist ng katotohanan. Ang title pa nga ng post nyo ay He Wasn't Poor. Ang mapait na katotohanan sa inyo, Cynthia Padag at Jim Paredes, gumagamit pa kayo ng mga inusenteng tao gaya ni Noli Asensio para lang makapanira kayo ng Pangulong Duterte at hindi man lang kayo nakita ng pagsisisi or remorse sa ginawa ninyo. So, sino sa inyo ngayon ang psychopath? I digress. Ang pinakamahalaga kong itatanong sa inyo, Cynthia Padag, na sana masagot mo sa buong mundo. Make use of this social media as long as you want. Expert ka ba sa subject ng psychology? Are you even a psychologist or psychiatrist to make a clinical impression on the president's mental health? <laughs> Sasabi mo ako di naman at isa lang naman akong bayaran ng mga Marcos. Punta ka dito sa Norway para makita mo what I do for a living. Hindi mo magets? Hina talaga na pala ang ulo mo. I'm a clinical psychologist, you fucking cunt. If you like, pwede ka pumapakonsulta sa akin para mabigyan kita agad ng clearance para makulong ka sa mental. Gusto mo ba padre ng room mo o yung ordinary lang? Before I forget, Cynthia, alam ba ninyo ni Jim Paredes ang ibig sabihin ng right to free speech? Kita niyo mga post niyo na hinahayaan lang ng Facebook. Wala naman nagmamonitor sa katangahan ninyo. Gusto niyo maging tanga para makita ng buong mundo? E di go na ng go! Ooh, look at me! I'm a yellow tart and I'm decente! That's why I don't do curse and I hate DJK but I like to make false stories. I even like these innocent people dying through bombings and storms.